Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the percent composition from a chemical formula. So here we have uh, sucrose, and we have the chemical formula is C12H22O11, and we're going to be cal calculating the percent composition of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay? And this is the general formula we're going to use to do that. To get the percent composition, we're going to take the number of atoms, so for example, 12 times the molar mass of carbon divided by the molar mass of the entire compound. If we use that formula, then we can calculate the percent composition for each of the elements that we have in our chemical formula. All right, so let's get started. Let's start with carbon. We're going to calculate the percent uh, composition of carbon in sucrose. So we have 12 atoms of carbon, and we're going to multiply that times the molar mass of carbon. We're just going to look on our periodic table. We look at our periodic table, we see that the molar mass of carbon is 12.011. And then we're going to divide that by the molar mass of the entire compound. And I calculated that earlier. And the molar mass of the entire compound is 342.297 grams per mole. Okay? So we're going to multiply those together and divide. And then we're going to multiply that by 100. And if we do that, we come up that the percent composition of carbon is 42.1%. So that's how we figure out the percent composition of carbon. And we repeat that for hydrogen and oxygen, and we'll get the percent composition for each of those also. So you can see here, hydrogen, we have 22 times the molar mass of carbon. We can look again on our periodic table. 1.008 divided by the molar mass of the entire compound again, 342. And if we do that, we multiply it by 100 again, we get that the percent composition of hydrogen is 6.5%. All right, and we repeat the process one more time for oxygen. 11 times the molar mass of oxygen, which we look again on our periodic table, 15.999, divided by times 100%, again we divide by the molar mass of the entire compound, and we come up with the percent composition of hydrogen in this case is 51.4%. And we can check that, of course, if we add up all of the percents, we should come up with 100%, and indeed, we do. So, in any amount of sucrose, doesn't matter how many, how many grams we have or how many moles we have, the percent of carbon is going to be 42.1%, the percentage of hydrogen is going to be 6.5%, and the percentage of oxygen is going to be 51.4%. Okay? Thank you very much.